Earning five, five good minutes. Everything you need to know about the New York Knicks. Let's get right to it. Alfred Payton, first of all, starting point guard. If he can just get to the rim every single time, he's pretty solid. If he never had to shoot, then he'd be a perfectly good starting point guard. Only problem is he shoots 20% generally from three, but good finisher, good job attacking the basket. Again, it's just when you close out short to him and make him actually shoot the ball is when he's really flat and really not good at that. But he's going to play defense. He's going to get down in the stands. He's going to create some offense from that defense. Tibbs is going to like that. So not the worst thing in the world. Alec Burks will be your starting shooting guard. He looks very solid. He's a very solid player. I didn't realize he's a 36.5% almost three-point shooter from his career. R.J. Barrett's going to find him cross-court here in the corner. He looks locked in, ready to go, probably best suited for a six-man role, but he's, like a lot of these Nick guys, going to be a starter as pretty much their whole starting lineup is guys that would be great bench players and a little bit overcast in starting roles, but that's why they're going to win 22, 23 games maybe. Julius Randle can handle the ball a little bit, a little bit too much at times. Nick fans remember from last season, but he can attack in transition. If he gets to his left hand, usually he's pretty good there. Nerland's Noel will be the starting center. Obviously, he's going to block shots, and then he's going to be around the rim as R.J. Barrett does a nice job finding him in the dunker spot here. And then the guy, obviously, that I skipped over because we got a lot more on him, R.J. Barrett, is the shot. I don't know. He just doesn't seem to be a very pure shooter. You know how they say shooters aren't, you know, born their mate or whatever. I'm not sure I really buy that. I think to some extent it is a little bit natural and he just doesn't really have a great natural touch here. You got to just read this better. As two defenders leave you. You're wide open. Sometimes the feel things are a little bit lacking and then here he's going to end up with Blake on you. 15 on the shot clock then taking that one. Contested three. You got to drive him. Ends up airballing it. I don't know. Just sometimes he's a little maddening with his reads out there but when he can attack, when he can get downhill to his left hand. That's when he's pretty good. This is what the Knicks really want to do, create offense from their defense, get out and play in transition. That's what Tibbs likes to see. Kevin Knox, breaking news, still not good. Sorry, I don't know what it is. Shot looks decent mechanically, but he is just all over the place. It just doesn't go in, quite frankly. Dennis Smith Jr., backup point guard, not a very good preseason for him thus far. Has a lot of trouble with the trap. Tibbs told him here, retreat dribble against the trap. Retreat, but I don't think he meant literally go back into the backcourt with two feet. I don't know if I've ever seen this. A player just whoop, wander all the way back there. He uh, The feel aspect seriously lacking for him as well. Mitchell Robinson off the bench. He'll get some dunks too. That's obviously what he does in addition to blocking shots, but he doesn't look in tremendous shape and his commitment to playing winning basketball has been questionable at times. Frank Nilakina, I do like him. He's a hustle guy. He's going to take charges. He's going to defend. Tibbs is going to like him. He's going to have a role with Tibbs. And if he can also occasionally knock in the rare three-pointer, even better. So if he can give them a little spark offensively, that's great. Obi Toppin, welcome to the league. First shot, here we go. A little bit too amped up to start the game. But once he settled down, good news, we did see a little bit of what we saw from him at Dayton. A little bit of back downs of smaller players in the post. Again, good poise, good crab dribbles, good patience. Nice job getting to his left shoulder in the post. We even saw a little bit of his great passing. Reads out of the post. Nice cut by Dennis Smith Jr. And then his shot, again, looks pretty decent when he gets good arc on it. Goes in at a pretty high clip. Overall, what are the Knicks going to do? They're going to defend. That's what Tom Thibodeau is going to demand of them. You see ice, ice, ice. Tibbs is always calling that out as they do a good job of here. Alfred Payton, good job rotating over to Plumlee, getting active hands. And then get on the floor, dive, play hard. That's what Tibbs is going to demand out of you. He's going to demand things like this. Everybody in a stance with their arms out. Again, if you really like the little things, the execution defensively, guys being in the right spots, then you're going to like watching Tom Thibodeau coach teams. Look at the X out here as these guys communicate on the weak side. That's called an X right there. Good closeout by Alfred for funneling him to the baseline and then doing a good job with active hands, slapping down at the ball, taking it right away from Jeremy Grant. He'll be a good, again, piece. Tibbs will be perfectly fine with him as a defensive-minded point guard. And then again, 
if you really like the little things, this is the stuff that Tibbs practices all day long. So you're not going to love it. They're not going to outscore a ton of teams. They're not going to score 120 points a game. But they will defend. They will play hard. So great stunt here by Alfred Payton to Blake. Great job, Nerlens Noel, coming over on the beat him, ready to take a charge. And then good job covering down, rotating, and flying around overall defensively. OB pushing a little bit in transition. How about this? This was a fun one. A rare Kevin Knox. Nice attack. Finding, rewarding OB. And then the Knicks will also execute. This is the other thing Tibbs is going to demand. Things like this. Knowing the little wrinkles, the slips, the intricacies of his sets. They will execute. But remember, there's a difference between execution and efficiency. They might not be nearly one of the highest offensive rating teams in the league, but they will run their stuff well. They will execute. The problem is more personnel based. I mean, how do you have just a good offense, really, when your bigs are Robinson and Randall offensively? You got Elford in the game, can't make a shot. Sorry, you got Dennis Smith Jr. in the game, can't make a shot. RJ is a questionable shooter. They go to double Randall in the post and then poor spacing, poor pass. I don't know, just the spacing in general is usually a disaster. How about this one here? This is, again, this is basic NBA action delay. They ran some of this last year with Randall, but... You know, Nerlens Noel is your popping big. Now him and Randall together, what are we doing here? Uh, I don't know. You know, it's just like, what can you do with that kind of spacing, with that lack of talent offensively? Ugh, I don't know. So the offense is going to be a big problem. The defense hopefully gets a little bit better. I still see the Knicks, again, winning 22, 23 games. If you want a 13-minute deeper dive of all exclusive clips that were not used in this video, go to patreon.com slash Brian to subscribe and unlock that instantly. Thanks for watching.